what's up guys? Tim Wright here, coming to you with a very special unboxing of a Patek Philippe Color Trava, reference number 6119R. Let's take a look inside this box. Here we go. Let's take that lid off. As you may have already seen, this is how the Patek Philippe interior box looks like. It's got this little cloth that you open it up like that. And inside, you've got the infamous Patek Philippe coffin. There's a tang buckle here. You pull that up and reveal the watch on the inside. All right, guys, let's take it out of the box and uh, go over the technical specifications and then I'll give you my opinions on the watch. All right, here we go. As you can see, this Patek Philippe Color Trava reference 6119 has a beautiful hobnail bezel. It's got Dauphine hands with very, very elegant uh, hour indices. There's two indices at the top and uh, smaller ones at the bottom near the uh, small seconds, which you can see running at six. The, there is also this railroad style of a track around the, the dial with small um, gold dimples applied behind the hour markers. The size of the dial is 39 millimeters. It's very, very elegantly done and uh, almost has a, a kind of a pipe hand illusion depending on the angle uh, that you look at the watch. Although, obviously, there's no pipe hand. The lugs are very elegant and they flow out of the case and meet the bracelet. There's 20 milli millimeters between the lugs. And uh, now the crown is quite small, but it's not as small as other similar dress watches. So it's very easy to grip and wind the watch. Now this watch is powered by Patek Philippe's brand new in-house uh, caliber 30-255 PS. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a Patek Philippe seal on it, uh, which means that Patek Philippe claims it, um, it finishes the movement to a higher degree than a standard Geneva seal that it, it used to rate their movements to. It's got 60 hours of power reserve with twin barrel. It beats at 4 hertz. Just absolutely gorgeous. And uh, when you manually wind it, you can see the action on the back. Gorgeous, gorgeous. The leather strap that it comes on is absolutely beautiful. And uh, it comes with a tank buckle, as you can see here. Gorgeous, gorgeous standard tank buckle. Very similar shape that you can see on the box of the watch. Um, let's quickly turn it back and take a, a closer look at that. Ooh. And take a closer look at that beautiful, beautiful dial. Absolutely stunning. Now there is a very subtle silver texture uh, to the dial that could only be seen with uh, a very strong zoom, which I will try to show here.
All right, guys, what do I think about this watch right here? I think it's absolutely stunning. Now, when it first came out, I was very worried because of the hubnail bezel and the way that Patek Philippe presents uh, this uh, watch in their images on the website. They really uh, put emphasis on the, the bezel. However, after seeing it in person, you realize that it's not as obnoxious as uh, you would think it is. It's actually a much more elegant uh, design and very, very modern. The, I, was, I was also skeptical about the ring around the, um, uh, the seconds at six. However, um, I understand it now. It actually, when you look at the watch, it um, you can it helps you uh, see the time a little bit better because it orients the watch in um, in the way that 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 draws your eye to where the twelve o'clock is and where the six o'clock is. It's very very clear indicator of what what it is that you're looking at. Now this might not look like a watch that's worth. Uh, 30,750 US dollars plus tax because it is a very simple watch at the first glance however it is definitely a watch that you need to spend some time with a loop and to really appreciate it you have to look very closely at the texture on the dial the attention that was uh, given to the hour hands, the, uh, the minute hand, and the hour indices. It is truly, truly exceptional. I don't think uh, that Pat Paddock has, uh, has given this much attention to hour indices in watches that are at higher categories. Like, um, I, I, I took a look at some uh, 5170 chronographs and the hour markers there are way way more simple nothing compared to to this one so they're almost like diamonds that's how uh, well they're finished and then of course something that we cannot discount and that's the brand new caliber the finish on this movement is just mind-blowing very clever architecture in this movement a twin barrel not a lot of watches have this much power reserve this much accuracy and still are that thin that is extraordinary oh my god it's one of the most amazing watches to wind i could i could be winding it here for hours it's just it, it's a ritual uh, whoever owns this watch will be uh, waking up in the morning Picking, picking up this beauty, spending next couple minutes meditating by winding their watch and then uh, setting off on their day. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous. And I love the tank buckle. Yes, I think a lot of newbies, newbies into watch collecting, they're gonna think that Patek Philippe has cheapened out by not giving them the, the deployment. But truly, this, the thinness of this watch from the front and the back cannot be understated. It is one of the most easily wearable watches. You feel you've got something, but it's not obstructing you in any way. Like, for example, this Rolex Explorer 2 that I'm wearing. After a long day, it could feel a bit of a, like a cuff. Whereas this is just unbelievable. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you liked it, make sure to hit that upload button. Uh, leave me a comment, leave me a question if you, if you want to know more about this watch. And uh, check out my live streams. I'll see you on the next one.